Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I gotta get the light better. There we go. Uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, yeah, so yesterday we did pretty well. Did pretty well. You can watch my video on what I did yesterday. And uh, where do I go? Here, here, here. See this? That's my Twitter account. So go check that out. Uh, wow, the frolic was amazing yesterday. And we, I've got, I'm going to do all the picks for you today as well. I got somebody in the comment section said, thanks for the Columbus pick. And you are welcome because I didn't pick it, actually. <laughs> I went on the under on that one, kind of screwed me up. But there were other games that I did very well on yesterday. We we ended up being ahead on Patreon, um, and not didn't hit our parlay for the people that are doing the email transfers. By the way, it's going up. My email transfer fee is now twenty dollars for a parlay and pick, and ten dollars for a regular pick. Comment down in the comment section. Uh, we can either do email transfer, PayPal, lots of different things we can do. And uh, we, I'll tell you all the details on what you get for picks and all that sort of thing like that. And sub up. Sub. Get, hit the sub button. All my other people, I, I get lots of views and comments and people love my content and all that kind of stuff like that, but they don't sub. All my other capper friends, they laugh. <laughs> Just like that. They laugh to yeah, they laugh. Look at what happens there. If I go, look at, ooh, ooh, wow. Changes everything. <laughs> anyway, yeah, sub yourself up. I'll send you a my NHL Pro. Maybe you don't want the Pearls of Wisdom necklace. I won't send it to you. Just sub it. Like it. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, the Pearl of Wisdom show, actually. If you want to come and talk to me about some stuff, three to five weekdays, three to five Eastern. You can come, sub up, come to my channel, and we have an interactive discussion on hockey all the time. We'll be talking about the Eichel trade today. and Be pretty much assured about that. All right. Let's look at the picks here. Oh, I got the wrong thing up here. There we go. Okay. Detroit versus Boston. Now, the question here, it hasn't been confirmed whether Detroit will have Larkin in tonight or not. Uh, the good thing about tonight is most teams are fairly well rested. I like it when that happens because uh, you basically can go on how they're doing up until now. I feel Detroit, to me, seems like they're a little unsure of themselves. Let's put it that way. Um, I feel... Boston at this point is Boston at this point is uh, desperate almost like they're 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 kind of uneasy. They should be looking for blood here on this game. Uh, they're four three and zero, oh, which is just over five hundred in a very tough division, as we know in the Atlantic. The Red Wings are four four and two as well. Um, but just the last couple games, they haven't really looked like they were going to take on the world. I think with Swayman in, and they haven't confirmed what it'll be for the Ra for the Rangers. I think I like the Bruins here, um, so I'm going the Bruins on that one. Uh, Washington versus Florida. This is an interesting game. Sam Bennett is injured. Um, Washington has their own injuries, uh, Backstrom, and their defense is eh, goaltending. Eh. Florida, of course, has an absolutely killer record right now. They are good. Where's the Florida? Here we go. They have a killer record right now. They are 8-0-1. Haven't won in regulation yet. The Capitals... Oh, they're the most frustrating team. They'll probably be up for this game. They get up for good teams, and they have a tendency to not be up for teams that aren't too good. I'm on the I'm I'm a little bit on the fence here, a little bit on the fence. Uh, we don't know if Samsonov is going to be in net or not, and I don't believe we know who's going to be the goaltender for. Florida either. Oh, 
Oh, yes, we do. Sergey Bobrovsky. I'm going to go Florida. I'm going to go Florida. I, I just, Washington's too inconsistent for me. Uh, Florida at home, on a heater. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about Sam Bennett not being in the lineup here. Why don't we take a quick look at what these Florida Panthers, what their lineup's going to look like with him. What, what, I heard they're going to put Reinhardt in the middle. See, that, that'll cover that up real well. The other one is Lundell is injured as well. So, but they've got E2 less loose to Reinen, who has played well on that. And uh, I guess Ryan Lomberg is going to get his uh, shot. Also, Radko Gudis is injured. But you know what? Even without Radko Gudis, I still like Florida's defense better than Washington's. I think it's going to be a tough game. I don't think it's going to be uh, um, like I was saying to like about Carolina with Chicago last night, which we got. Nailed it. Uh, the, that I don't think this is going to be an easy out for Florida. It's going to be a close one, I think. Uh, but I am going to go Florida. Islanders versus Montreal. Montreal's got a little bit of their mojo back, but the Islanders haven't played in a while. So that means practice, 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 practice. And I find when the Islanders do that, they tend to play well. Uh, they're one of the few teams that seem to play well after a little bit of a layoff. So I'm going to go the Islanders here. Also, Drouin with is injured with his uh, concussion problems and all of those sort of things. And the lineup itself is, is pretty fragile right now. So I'm going to go Islanders there. Uh, Vegas versus Ottawa. Tough matchup. Ottawa is the one team that is kind of tired coming in here. They're playing three games in four nights. They played two on the road, and now they've had a day off, and now are playing Vegas. And Vegas has had some rest. But Vegas is extremely banged up. And we also know that Vegas now has this uh, probably pretty cool energy of knowing that they're going to eventually have Eichel in their lineup. So that's going to give them a bit of a boost, I think. Let's see who we got here. Yeah, let's see what their, their lineup looks like. See, they still got Brett Howden on the number one line. Uh, didn't work well last game. I don't think it's going to work well this game. Uh, I think I'm going to go Ottawa here. Especially, and Gustafson is in. That's big. Gustafson is in. I think I'm going to go Ottawa here. I know that their energy, their energy is probably going to seem pretty cool with uh, knowing that the, you know, the organization is doing what it can to bring in great players like Eichel. But with all the injuries that they have on the road, Ottawa's a fighting team. I'm going to go Ottawa. Uh, I wouldn't put much on it, but I, I'm going to go Ottawa. Philadelphia versus Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh is just injured all to heck. Um, they have Crosby out. Uh, let's take, actually, let's look at it this way. No, we'll look at the lineup. What the heck? We'll look at Pittsburgh's lineup. They have Crosby out. They have Demolin out uh, with, COVID, with COVID issues. Uh, who else do they have out? Where are you, Mr. Pittsburgh? First, let's look at the Philadelphia Flyers. We'll look at their lineup. Uh, see, they're getting uh, Philadelphia Flyers are getting a lot out of Giroud, Couturier, and Konechny right now. This Farabee, Broussard, Atkinson line looks good. Um, the defense has been oh, it's been average, about average to above average, and Carter Hart should be in net, and he's playing absolutely fantastic. Now, as we know, this is a crosstown rival game, so it's it could be a very close game simply because of that. It just that that these rival games have a tendency to be close, no matter what happens. There we are, Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, and with the injuries they have, you got Gunsel, Carter, Heinen, Zucker, Rodriguez, Kapanen. For Pittsburgh, that's actually a good enough top six. They can win with that. My problem here is, oh, is Latang back? I thought Latang was out. Oh, Latang might be back in the lineup tonight. But with Demelin out, it's just they got the rookie and this uh, 
John Marino and Ricola and Friedman in their bottom four. They're really going to have to play these guys a lot because Ricola and Friedman can't play a lot of minutes. So I'm going to lean Philadelphia here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of betting against Pittsburgh because they have a tendency to win no matter what their lineup looks like. But logically speaking, Philadelphia should pull that through. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Toronto. And Toronto's team depth is always going to be a problem. Uh, I believe Vasilevsky should definitely be in on in here. Um, Tampa plays a possession type game. They play a similar type game. And Toronto shooters have been starting to go. So it's close, but I still got to go with Tampa Bay. Uh, take the dog. Tampa Bay is a dog in this game with the depth that they have. I'm going to go Tampa Bay. Uh, Dallas versus Calgary. Dallas has looked better the last little while. Um, the last two games, I would say. They they started potting a couple goals the last game they played. Um, but as a whole, I'm still uneasy about the Dallas Stars. Um, Especially goaltending. I, 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 don't, I think they're going to be playing Holtby again. And uh, that's, I, I don't know what their love affair with Holtby has been. I don't even know why they brought him in there when they have Ottinger down there in the minors. And he was their best goaltender last year. But they got a lot of guys that got to get going here. Rope, Ropo Hints. Uh, Robertson comes in. He's like a guy that is now not injured. He brings a lot of energy to this team. And he seems like a guy that's like just Mr. Consistency. So they ever since he came in, they have looked a lot better. They got the old man line here with Jamie, Ben, Tyler Sagan, and Radulov. Um, but their overall depth to me is lacking. And uh, everybody's healthy on defense as well. Calgary really has no, I already know they don't really have many injuries at all, and they're playing absolutely fantastic. Markstrom is playing fantastic. They did lose against Nashville. I was saying that was going to be, a, I thought that would be a tight game. But if you, I, I didn't look at the records for the previous ones there too. So uh, Senators were 3-5-1 and one, and Golden Knights are 4-5-0. and oh. Very close game. I got a special play for that game actually. Um for the Flyers and Penguins, Flyers are 5-2-1, and one, Penguins are 3-3-2, three, three and, and I believe have lost their last two games. It's a tough go. I just think with Carter Hart against Jari and the way the Flyers have uh, like been gelling together and playing with a, a great energy, I have a feeling that they're going to be able to take this one. So I'm going to take the Flyers in that one. For the Stars... Of course, the Flames are 6-1-2, and two, and the Stars are having a difficult time. And most of that was because of scoring. Now, they started scoring more last game. The Flames lost against Nashville. I'm, I just, I, right now, the way the Flames are playing, I can't see them losing two in a row, especially against a Stars team that's had difficult times scoring. This will, be t this will be a tight match, though. I'm pretty positive because they both play a similar style but I'm still going to go with the Flames. If you like my totals and any other things, parlays, Patreon, be pal picks, Patreon, or 780-690-1995, 780-690-1995. Message me and uh, we can work out a way that you can start getting some picks and making money that way. Uh, whoops, next. We got, uh, so Calgary's getting, you know, not bad, 170. I'd say that's pretty good value for that. Uh, Buffalo versus Seattle. Buffalo just made the Eichel trade. Lost to San Jose. Um, their energy could be really good here. This is uh, another one that I find difficult to cap, and I don't like the juice you're giving up on Seattle here. Um, I think Seattle's probably going to win this game, though. Uh, Buffalo's been on the road for a long time. Uh, you know, Peyton Krebs isn't going to be in there yet. There's going to be a lot of media stuff going on there. Um, I think Seattle will win that game, but I would also not be 
opposed to going Buffalo PL here. And I got a little bit of a special play on that one as well. So, and you can have it if you 780-690-1995. Uh, I'll put that up in the title of the of this video and then you'll be able to do that. Uh, St. Louis versus San Jose. St. Louis is on a back-to-back. -back. San Jose is beat up. Didn't bother them against Buffalo. Um, the question here is, who is, uh, I believe Russo is hurt for St. Louis, their backup. And I don't think they're going to play Bennington back-to-back. -back. Uh, they could surprise us there, but there hasn't been a confirmation on who's going to be in net. And to tell you the honest truth, well, let's take a look. On the top of my head, I don't even know who their third goaltender is. So let's take a look before we say what we're going to do here. Because that can mean a lot. Uh, Joel Hoffer, a kid, drafted fourth overall. In 2018, what kind of numbers is he putting up in the AHL? Crushing it. Lovely. He's crushing it in four games in the AHL. Wow. So here's the situation where uh, last year he didn't do very well. He's doing seems to be doing well to start this year, but it is his first game. So San Jose's got a great energy. It, it doesn't even seem to matter right now that they've got a lot of guys on COVID. They're just playing with the flow, a really, really good flow. I, um, I underestimated them against Buffalo, and I don't think I'm going to underestimate them here. I think St. Louis on the back-to-back, -back, uh, playing Anaheim last night, had a tough, or sorry, L.A., had a tough game with L.A. last night. I think San Jose is going to pull this one out. So I am going to go San Jose. All right. Well, that's my full 42. There's your picks for today. Um, you can go. I, I, I was going to show you all my picks on Patreon, but actually, you know what? Let's do that, too. If you're done, this is done. This is done for you if you don't want to check it out. But we'll go take a look at some of the things that we see on my Patreon. I got to go really quick so you don't see that. You can't see that. Okay, last night I did a live pick, or did Blues versus over the Kings. We didn't get that. I had Oilers. Whoops, I better show you it, eh? There we go. <laughs> ah. Okay, I had Blues over Kings. We didn't get that. It was only for one pearl. That's like a unit. A pearl is a unit. It's a, it's a pearlo unit. Oilers over Predators in reg for three pearl. Got it. Hurricanes over Blackhawks ML for three pearl. Got it. So our big ones we got. And then I had Avalanche Blue Jackets under. That was freaking so under for until the third period. And then everything fell apart. And we lost it. And that was my free pick on TikTok too. So I've lost two in a row on my free picks. Silly, silly me. But we were up money. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters, right? We're up money. So that's my full 42, boys and girls. Sub yourself up. Come over to my Patreon, Patreon app, and, uh, you know, go over there. And I, I might have something new coming up for y'all. Just wait till you hear about that. You're going to love it. 780-690-1995. Um, that's my full 42. Okay, bye.